I've had a lot of people send me a common question in multiple videos asking me, when am I gonna do this equivalent video on a Mac system? So in this video, I want to show you my solution for being able to help the Apple users out there going forward. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So um, how am I gonna solve this? If you have looked at any of my posts on the community here on YouTube, I talked about this is my solution for um, the people who ask me, am I going to do something um, to help out Mac users, Apple users on media ministry stuff who they prefer that. Now, I'll be quite honest. I really sat back. I really did. Um, looked at buying a Mac. I was looking at a Mac mini. And to be quite honest, um, I know I get a lot of people asking me how to do certain stuff in media ministry and their computer is beyond underpowered. And most of the time I recommend to upgrade it or get a new system. And I had to take that on my own advice for that. If I really got a Mac mini, which was inside of the budget at the time for me to get, it is nowhere close to the specs that I would recommend for any type of computer to do anything. So instead of me doing that, well actually, and before I even say that, the system that I really need to meet the specs to do what I recommend is almost around like 2,500 to three grand. And I wasn't gonna do that for a system that's really just meant to test out stuff. So um, I turned to YouTube and a lot of people were talking about that you can build a um, Hackintosh. But then uh, some other communities talking about you can do a Ryzentosh, which is using a Ryzen system to and get it to run uh, Mac OS on it, Catalina which would give me exactly what I needed. And I was able to get way more horsepower out of this system than what would have cost me around 2,500 to $3,000 3, $3, if I bought this Mac. So let me show you what I'm gonna be putting together. We're gonna do a quick time lapse and <laughs> we're gonna um, install the uh, everything they make turn it into a rise and touch, I guess. So let me show you the parts that we're getting. I'm missing two things that are supposed to be in here tomorrow, but that's not really going to stop what I'm doing here. I can still put all of this together. And honestly, I really want to put this together right now. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on a road trip, so I need to put this together <laughs> now. Um, so anyway, let's go over the system. I am using the Fractal Design Era case. I saw this case when it came out and it was in white and blue is my favorite color. And when I saw it in blue, oh, this case is awesome. This is a mini ITX case, um, really nice. You can put a glass top here, magnetic top, filters, everything on top of it. Really looking forward to building in this system. It can go with a full ATX power supply or an SSF, SFX power supply. Um, originally, I tried to put a 550 watt um, Corsair power supply full ATX, which fit, but it was very tough to finagle all the cables around. So in the recent video that I did for First Baptist Church in South Lynchburg, I put the 550 watt in that system and I bought an SFX power supply from Fractal Design in this system, which is already installed because I played around with it. I cut over to some video where I did that. Um, and then I bought the Radeon 7 when it first came out and I had a lot of problems with it. It was a good card, um, but it just didn't deliver what I wanted to. But this was the most powerful AMD graphics card I had that was not being in use. So, hey, I heard everywhere else they said this is a great card that will work inside of Mac natively. So, hey, that's where we went. So this is what's gonna be our graphics card. And before I even get to this, this, this system is mainly gonna be for live streaming with the A10 Mini. It's gonna be doing video editing um, with DaVinci Resolve on that platform. 
and a lot of OBS training videos that I've been doing on PC have an equivalent powerful enough system to do it on Windows and Mac at the same time. And I actually um, was given a capture card, so I will be able to live stream off this as well too with an external USB capture device. So that's gonna be cool. So this is gonna be my all in all um, Mac equivalent for media ministry stuff. Anyway, we have a silicon power NVMe 512 gigabyte drive. I have access to a secondary drive if I needed it. Um, might use that, don't know. 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz G-Skill Rip Jaws um, memory. And this is what I was waiting <laughs> so long for. This is the ASRock X570 Phantom Gaming ITX with Thunderbolt on here. I read a lot that in the Mac environment using this, everything on this board minus Wi-Fi will work. And honestly, I'm not gonna use Wi-Fi with this. It's gonna be hardwired to everything. So this is gonna be awesome. Now, outside of that, that's everything, but we're missing two things. Um, I was gonna go with a Ryzen 2400G, which is from my ASRock A300, um, for my portable streaming system. Um, when I do football games and other events, that's what I was gonna use. But they said that the APUs are problematic inside of this and that's why i was using the graphics card but i was able to get the ryzen 5 3600 the exact same processor that i have in my um excuse me let me take that back yeah um the 3600 the exact same one that i have in my live streaming system is coming in tomorrow that's what's going to be inside of this so this is literally going to be the equivalent of my current live streaming system but the graphics card is more powerful this graphics card used to be in my live streaming system but i moved it to a 1650 um, and i donated this to uh, my church but no one was using it for vid for video editing since i was doing all the video editing so i just took the card back and this is what's going to go inside the system the on and the only other thing that's left with that as well too because of the system um, I ended up getting the, um, uh, one, the 120 millimeter um, NZXT Kraken um, AIO. That's also supposed to come in tomorrow. But I have a Noctua case, I mean fan, and the 2400G. I'm going to put that on here right now just so I can do the build and get it out. Um, and then when I get back tomorrow, when those other parts come in, I'm going to swap out the CPU and install the AIO, and then we're gonna go with um, attempting to install um, Catalina on here. So those are the parts, a beast of a system, way more powerful than <laughs> even that $3,000 system that I was gonna price out on Apple's website. But anyway, enough of the system, let's get to building. <music> So here we go, here is our system. And if I come over here to our About the Mac 
as you can see here's our radeon 7 here is our it's showing as an intel um core i5 but this is the uh ryzen um 5 3600 um what else we got in here Trying to get our drives and all this other stuff. I'm still playing around with it because it's been quite a while since I've been on the Mac. But we have a lot of great stuff on here. I've actually um, already had OBS set up, doing a video on that. I have the connections to um, my ATEM software and everything on here. Working great so far. I haven't downloaded any benchmarking to see what the performance and stuff like that is yet but that's coming soon this is mainly meant for me to have a test bed for me to test out other hardware and other media ministry essential stuff here so we're going to be installing worship extreme and um, all that other stuff that we normally do um, here on this channel and the good thing is we have a system now so when people are asking me mac specific questions I have something to jump to. Now, I'll be honest, I tried to install DaVinci Resolve and it kind of gave me an error. And I think because they said in this environment, you have to be very particular on how some stuff is configured. Um, so most of those things will work out, work out um, the bells and whistles to get all that stuff done. Um, what else? Uh, I'm just trying to think what else. Um, the sound is working. It's kind of like a um like a pulsating sound like it'll just get soft and then loud and then go back and forth so seems like that's most likely configuration stuff so this is going to still be like a work in progress but the good thing is this is better than how it was when i had to wait for other people to get me a system so i could do videos and stuff like that for them so um you know really want to thank the patrons and all the supporters and hopefully this is um you know like i said this is how we get equipment so that we can help you um, train you and help you in whatever capacity it is so a lot of videos that are going to be coming up are going to seem like they're repeats but they're going to be max centric um, to go over some of those things that people have asked um, like i already recorded the one for the obs bundle on how to have it set up in here and we're going to get that um clean that up and make it easier and more efficient just like we do with everything else um, we're going to be testing out a lot of stuff with the a to mini worship extreme we're doing all this other stuff one we're going to be revisiting the zoom meeting um, being captured in obs through mac um, as well as some people have requested what is it uh google meet um, a bunch of other stuff so more importantly it's awesome. Thank you. I'm glad this worked out. We have more than enough horsepower because the equivalent system, if I had bought this um, directly, would have been around $2,500. So we saved over half of building this. And, and really, some of the parts I already had. So that was cool. But um, just want to thank the patrons for making this possible. Um, give y'all all the credit for that. All right. So that's it. So be on the lookout for new videos. Thank y'all so much. Don't think that I haven't been listening to y'all who have asked me um, for more help from, um, from the Mac ecosystem. So this is for y'all. So hope y'all like that. And hopefully some more videos that are coming down the pipe, I'll be able to come from a Windows and a Mac perspective to help y'all out even more with future videos. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And again, the names of our patrons are on the screen right now that made this video possible. Thank you so much. And if you like what we're doing here and you want to be a part of all these other patrons to help support what we're doing on this channel, link is in the description. You can get started for as little as $1 a month. Thank you again for watching. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.